ITPC. Relax Piper here. Yeah. Here with a quick review video of my referenced lighter collection. So I thought I'd go ahead and share them with you. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video for anyone who's watching my videos, who is new to the hobby or a new piper looking for their first lighter. And perhaps they saw one of mine in my videos and had questions about it. I thought I'd go ahead and just talk a little bit about my collection and why I've chosen the lighters that I have. I don't have a huge collection of lighters, but I do like to collect a few of them. I'd like to add a couple more, but overall, I wouldn't say that I'm a huge lighter collector. I pretty much just collect the ones that really appeal to me, and unfortunately, there are not a lot of lighters that actually do. Just like with pipes, I very much enjoy and like very classical shaped pipes. And fortunately, I'm just a picky individual and particular design and finish really has to appeal to me. So I thought I'd just share them with you guys. Um, it's not, not surprising that my lighters would be a very, would say very, what's the word I'm looking for? Very simplistic and very elegant and just very classical. That's kind of what I like when it comes to lighters as well. So I'll go ahead and get started and show you my collection. And if you have any questions, certainly leave a comment down below and I will answer them. So I'll go ahead and start out with my Zippos first. Um, this was the very first pipe that I got. Um, my very first pipe lighter, and this is uh, just basically a Zippo pipe lighter with the uh, pipe insert. And I really liked this pipe lighter. I just thought it was very classical, um, very much fit in with the pipe theme. So this was my very first pipe lighter and the one thing that I like about Zippos and why I believe that every pipe piper out there needs a Zippo is for the wind. They're windproof and I think it's wise to have a couple different lighters for different situations. So just a very classical pipe shape and with just a very simplistic logo on the front and it has been one of my favorites. So there's that one. I'm also very much into um, vintage lighters, or at least the new replicas that that Zippo has put out. And again, I'm a huge fan of the newer models, and I am so glad that Zippo decided to bring back some of the older models um, in new condition. So this is just the Zippo Vintage pipe lighter. And this is the, um, the vintage that uh, typically they will have like two stripes on each corner. I'm not particularly fond of the aesthetics of that one. I just very much like the simplistic lighter of the vintage and it's a great lighter um, I have not used it yet but I will and there is that one I don't know how I'm gonna put these here and of course sticking with the vintage um, theme this is probably hands down my favorite Zippo lighter. And I wish I had gloves because they're, of course, fingerprint magnets. Everything that I like tends to be a fingerprint magnet. So this is the 1941 Zippo uh, remake. And this is hands down probably my favorite 
brass lighter. It's the brushed 1941 Zippo. And this one I chose to put in a Zorro insert. And the Zorro inserts are really nice because they are all sealed. And this one I made primarily actually for a camping lighter. And I put the Zorro insert in there so that it wouldn't leak fluid in my pocket and everything. But this is just a great lighter and I really enjoy the look of it uh, so much that I decided to get another one and my lovely wife got me this silver Zippo 1941 uh, for Valentine's Day and it's just a beautiful lighter. I really like the silver and how it patinas very much like the Peterson um, Peterson pipes with the silver spigots. I just really love how uh, silver patina. So I use this one quite a bit. This is not a shelf uh, monster. I, I use it all the time and I will be using it till I wear it out. So just again, this is my probably my favorite of all the Zippo line is the 1941 uh, remake. And I think everyone ha has to have a classic Zippo polished chrome Zippo. Um, it's just a classic. Yes, it's a fingerprint magnet. Yes, it's a scratch magnet. But the classic vintage style polished brass is just a beautiful lighter. And I think everyone, in my opinion, needs one in their collection. And I put a gold pipe insert in it as well. And just a beautiful, beautiful lighter, in my opinion. So third, sticking with the brass lighters I ever since I have got into lighters and looking at different lighters I have very much got into the I'm gonna say a Zorro I should say a China knockoff of the Zorros and this lighter here <laughs> This is a $15 lighter off AliExpress. Um, it's a remake of a company that I believe has gone out of business called Zorro. It used to be called, called uh, what was it? Zorro Armor? Zorro Armor, I believe, was the logo that was on it. Fortunately, the remake here of the China remake doesn't have the armor on it, but Regardless of that, this is a beautiful lighter for $15. The nice thing about lighters is they're not terribly expensive other than a couple of the butanes. But um, this gold here uh, is very durable and I haven't really used it. But as you can see on this lighter, it has a seal on it. And this thing will hold uh, fluid for forever. And it's just a beautiful lighter. It's so well made. I mean, if you look at the hinge on it. Um, but, you know, it doesn't have a lot of heritage behind it. Like the Zippos or some of the other mainstream lighters. But I really like it. It is a fully machined inside and out. And... I just think you can't go wrong with this lighter. It is a very heavy lighter though. And 
would not probably want to carry it in my pocket all the time, but there is that one. Moving on to some of my um, other Chinese knockoffs, and that is another Zorro lighter, and this is a homage of the um, ST DuPont under the Zorro name, and <laughs> it doesn't really have a very good ping on this one, but it does kind of have that legendary ping of the ST DuPont, and this one is a um, just a lighter fluid version of it. Works great, and you know, I can't complain about it. This is another $15 lighter off of AliExpress, and I can't really say anything bad about it. It works every single time, and it's very heavy and well made. So, there's that one. And, of course, you've probably seen this one in some of my videos, and that is the ST DuPont lighter that I have. It does have the ping, and this one I got off of AliExpress for, I believe, around $60. And, again, this has been a great lighter. It is a butane version, and... It is actually very well made, very heavy. Um, it's got some nice details. It doesn't have the Paris on the other side, but maybe some models did had them and some didn't. But again, this is just a beautiful lighter. Um, one of my favorites is the Dunhill Roll Gas with the checkering. And I have to say, uh, it's just a beautiful lighter. Um, you know, what can I say? <laughs> Getting, you're getting um, luxury designs at a fraction of the price. So it's got a nice, oh, it's got a nice little ting to it, just like the the ST Dupont. So there is that one, and I only have a couple more left, and. I'd like to add a couple more to my collection at some point, but for now, um, my collection is pretty small. And of course, you've seen this one. This is the Rat Trays um, uh, Grand Faucet, and. I absolutely love this lighter. This has been an excellent lighter. And the only thing I wish it had was a little bit more capacity. And for me, this would probably be the perfect lighter. So one of my favorite lighters to carry around. It's nice and slim. It's got the hood on it to keep everything clean for the most part. And getting debris in it. it has a nice um, a flip. Uh Lip on there it's actually recessed too so you can see that it's recessed so it does keep the um, ports clean and it's just been a great lighter starts every single time and I think I can recommend these at this point I've had it long enough and I really enjoy that video or I'm sorry <laughs> this lighter again they're all they are all um, And last but not least, this is my, you know, one expensive lighter, the um, Peterson uh, Poor Boy style of lighter. I did a review on this one just recently, and I have to say, this has been a great lighter as well. Um, it starts every time, and I've had absolutely no problems with it whatsoever up to this point, and I've been using it all all week long, you know. Um, so far, I am really enjoying this lighter. I think it's going to be a good lighter for the long haul. 
The only concern that I have again is that that port's not really covered up and I'll probably put some tape or something on it. So anyway, guys, I thought I would go ahead and share my lighters. And if for some reason you see me using one and you have some questions about it, you'll be able to come to this video to see what it is that I'm using. So anyway, guys, there's a couple more lighters that I'd like to get to finish off my collection. And one is the um, AliExpress Dunhill version, although the price is just too expensive right now and China's kind of in lockdown. So it's not one I particularly want to pick up at this time. Another one I'd love to get is the Constantine lighter. And that will pretty much sum up my lighter collection. Not a huge lighter lighter person to collect lighters just because most of them I don't like and I, I don't really care for a lot of the different uh, look, you know, pictures and different stuff that a lot of the Zippo lighters offer. So anyway guys, I just thought I'd go ahead and share my lighter collection with everyone if you have any questions leave a comment down below and keep it lit catch you hopefully in the next one take care guys